There we go. I am live. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it um, is something that will give you a boost today, give you some energy and some enthusiasm and excitement. My name is Elizabeth Pampalone, and I am the founder of Absolute Marketing. I love marketing. I love everything about it. And I know that it's essential to every single business. Now, I want to let you guys know that COVID is, is out there, right? Like, it's just going to be there. We have to deal with it at some point. And I know that it can also be very discouraging. It can take up a lot of our time um, dealing with it, you know, focusing on it, all that stuff. So I want to encourage you today to do three things that you can do today that won't take up that much of your time, but that will at least help you to keep your business going. And I see so many businesses in my own sphere, in my um, groups that I'm in, and they just kind of stop. They get stuck. Oh, there's my little puppy. <laughs> um, they get stuck and they don't know what to do to move forward because they can't do business the way they used to do business. So are you settled there, buddy? Okay. <laughs> so what we want to do today is get three things into our lives on a daily basis that we can do to actually keep ourselves moving forward, keep ourselves motivated, and hopefully move the needle some when it comes to income and gaining back what we may have lost during all this stuff that's going on. So I wanna offer you three things today. Um, the first one being to look at your offerings and look for new opportunities within those offerings. What were you doing before? What have you been doing recently? Um, and is there something that we can do now to create a new environment for you to do your work? Uh, maybe you're a photographer and you can't really do as much in-person stuff anymore. Um, maybe you were doing something that was very like high touch and doing a lot of networking and you can't do that as much anymore. There are so many opportunities um, that we have that we can take advantage of. And even with photographers, you know, I've had people who do a lot of video or, you know, editing. They've started doing video editing. They've started doing, um, you know, photo retouches, um, photo restorations. So people are pulling out everything out of their closets. They're cleaning their houses because what else is there to do really on lockdown usually? And I know that some states aren't locked down, but some still are. And so they're pulling everything out. And they're going, oh my gosh, here's grandma's, you know, wedding photo and da, da, da. And now there's a way to like, scan it, digital, digitize it, restore it. Um, I did a lot of photo restorations when I first moved to Florida. I saw a lot of people had, you know, their photographs in, in their garages and stuff. And it was really sad. And I was able to, you know, help them to, to scan them and then go ahead and do restorations on them. So um, especially those precious photos that we can't do anything about getting them back. Obviously, you know, the, the old photos and things like that. So there's all kinds of things that photographers can do that wedding planners can do. Um, you know, there's just, just a, so many creative ideas out there. And um, if you'd like to brainstorm with me at some point, you can drop something in the chat. We can brainstorm that way. Or if you'd like to just do a one-on-one, -on -one, I do a 15-minute free call with anybody who wants one. We can brainstorm those ideas, maybe get you some new opportunities that you may not have um, thought of before. Just, you know, with, I have a creative brain. I don't know why it, just, it works that way. But I'd love to share that with you and help you um, to see those new opportunities because I feel like they're there. And it's just about grabbing them and doing them. So. The first thing I said, um, you know, like I mentioned, is just looking at the current offerings you have. And if it's not working right now, how can we move to move to something else, change to something else temporarily, maybe permanently? Who knows? Um, but just do something right now that's going to actually move that needle and get you moving forward again. Uh, the second thing is to go into groups now um, and, and actually help other people because we're all doing this at the same time. It's not like it's not affecting me. It's not like it's not affecting, you know, our neighbors. So what we can do is we can go into these Facebook groups that we're in or join new ones because there's new ones popping up all the time. Join some groups that are active and, and running and flourishing and see if we can help someone who's in those groups. I like to just do comment, you know, help where if someone's asking for something, I can give a resource. I can say, oh, yeah, I've used let's say they're looking for mail or light or like some kind of, um, you know, email marketing system. I can say, hey, I've used mail or light. I really like it. I've vetted it, you know, and this is what I use it for. So I can just give them that help. Um, and it's not doesn't cost me anything to do that. But it does show them that I've I know these things and I'm that expert that they're looking for maybe in the future um, or maybe on that that big thing that they do want to, you know, pay for and get some help on. So, you know, giving that free help is going to give 
you a ton of, you know, like traction in doing marketing in a different way. Um, and it's kind of that old, you know, BNI adage, which uh, givers gain, that kind of thing. Um, so hopefully that's something that you can take advantage of um, as well. And I'm going to check my audio here and see if it'll let me check it. Okay. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Okay. I've had some issues with Facebook and some echoey sounding things. So I'm not sure. Hopefully it looks, it looks and works good. Um, so anyway, uh, the third thing that I want to mention is to show up. You have to show up. You have to continue to show up. And I know it's so hard right now because it feels like it's not working. It feels like we're stuck. It feels like that nothing's happening. Nothing's moving. But if we actually show up, we are going to get so much out of that. Not only mentally, um, physically, just just us actually, you know, <laughs> physically, I'm talking about putting on clothes. <laughs> because sometimes when we're in this kind of situation, it seems like we don't even need to wear pants. Like, you know, and seriously. And so putting on clothes, putting on makeup, doing your hair. I got earrings on today. See that? Um, I put on jewelry. So if you can do those kind of things to show up, to go and do a live in a, in a group, go and share what you know with people, help them to pivot. And, and you as well at the same time are you know, doing your own mini pivot and all that stuff. So showing up is so important. And I know that it's really hard too, because the kids are home and things are happening and you know, you've got a lot going on. But this is also that time where we, we buckle down. It's just like when, when the kids are in school and we're running here and there and we're doing all these different things and we're taking them to this thing and that thing and there's all this chaos going on, we still find time to do business. And, and in normal circumstances, we, we work through it, we figure it out. And I feel like with this, um, with this pandemic, and no one's ever experienced this before, but with, you know, with the school year coming around and everything, it's like, oh, we've done that. We know how to deal with it. We know how to work through it. But with this, people just kind of stop dead in their tracks. We're like, what? what do we do? What's happening? I don't know what to do. And so I feel like now it's been enough time. We need to work through it faster. We need to get a little bit more on top of this. So for me, that's just been um, showing up, going on podcasts, going and doing lives, spending time with the computer and spending time away from the computer. So I go to the Y every day or every other day. I I ride my bike, like I do things outside outdoors because it just makes me feel better as a person. But I feel like it's almost like we have a better work life balance. Um, and if we are able to kind of look at our time a little differently, because now it's like we have all this time just meshed together, there's no separate, you know, com like compartments, <laughs> like, okay, this is school and this is et cetera, et cetera. So now that we have all this time kind of just mushed together and everybody is just everywhere. We need to start figuring out what that routine is, figuring out what that um, is going to look like, especially going forward into the school year, especially going forward into what is the, the busy time of year for most people. So um, if you have some questions about productivity, about you know time blocking, about you know creating a schedule, I was actually homeschooled all my life. So I know about corralling kids and getting them into you know, their own little routines and helping with those kind of things. So if you want help with that, I don't have kids, but I did <laughs> have five, uh, four siblings that were all younger than me. So I was kind of like a second mom. <laughs> and I learned a lot of stuff as that. Um, and a lot of my siblings are much younger than me. So I have a lot of experience with that. So if you ever want to talk about that or brainstorm about that, I'm happy to share what I did. Um, and my mom, when, when I was in my 20s, um, she actually went into the hospital for uh, almost a month. Um, with some some severe health issues and thankfully she's okay now um, but during that time I had to go I had to go home I had to leave my apartment and everything and I went home and I stayed with my siblings because my dad was working and he was either at the hospital or working and so I would stay with the kids and I homeschooled them I took them on field trips I did all those things and I ran my business at the same time so you know those kind of things can be really tough and really tricky especially when it's kind of thrown at you all of a sudden and you're not really prepared for it kind of like this was with us and I, I have experience with that. So let me help you. Let me give you any kind of advice or any kind of um, insight, uh, help, resources, tools. I don't know. Whatever I can give you, let me do that. i will be happy to bless you with that. And if you'd like to um, book some time with me, I'm just going to put a link here in the chat. And um, please feel free to uh, chat with me. I'm happy to, to do that with you. Let's see here if it'll go in. There we go. Oh. Did it? Nope. There it goes. 
<laughs> Got to watch some funny here. Um, so I really do appreciate um, the time that I've been given here today to just talk with you guys. I just wanted to share those three things. So let me go over them one more time. We're going to look at our offerings. We're going to see what new opportunities are there. And if you want to brainstorm some of those new opportunities with me, I have one of those weird creative brains. I just kind of find things. So if you want to chat with me about that, I'm happy to do that with you. Um, that feel free to book something and um, also just help others go in other groups, help people with what you know how to do and just share resources with them. So because we're all doing this at the same time, we're all in this together and also to show up, to be out there, to be in the groups, to go on to Zoom calls with people when they invite you um, to online networking, to seek out the networking groups you were in maybe and see if they're doing online versions of that because this is so important for us to keep going. I feel like if we stop, we die. And we don't want that to happen. We don't want your business to just shrivel up after all the work you've put into it, all the hard work you've done to build something for yourself and for your family as a, as a legacy, as something that you can use to, to better your family and everything, and to help others even. You know, all of that work, we don't want to lose that. We don't want to let that go to waste. So keep showing up. See what you can do to pivot. And if you need help with any of those things, productivity or, or whatnot, please let me know. I'm happy to um, to chat with you one on one. Or if you'd like to put something in the chat, I'll be monitoring um, the chat here for anybody that watches the replay. And I'm happy to answer the questions or give you resources that I have um, for that. So last time, check your offerings, find the new opportunities. That's number one. Number two, help others with the resources you have three things you can just help them with, share with them, and then remember to show up. So I hope to come back to this group in a, in a day or so and see you guys just a flurry of activity. What are you doing? How can I help you, et cetera, et cetera. Um, share with us what's going on with you and how your business has changed and maybe how you've pivoted um, in this time or maybe a resource that you're using to corral the kiddos and get them all on track so that you can have a routine. So please share that with us in the group. We'd love to see that. And I really do appreciate you watching today. Thank you so much. And my name is Elizabeth Pampalone with Absolute Marketing. And I will see you next time.